Hi, good afternoon everybody. Today is October 28, 2022. I am at Plainview today. I will be heading back west. Um, just circling around Plainview on this video. Right now, I am on Old Country Road, right off the Route 135 um, in Plainview. This is the Man Manetto Village Shopping Center. It's right on Old Country Road. Just gonna take a quick look to see what type of stores there are here. So there's a nail place and a sababa pizza. I guess it's kosher. And then we have you no know, China Dragon. The subways here. There's a diner, CVS. There's a card and gift store. So they still sell cards, the holiday cards. Gymnasium. Burger bar. Oh, little supermarkets over here. I, I I usually don't see one around here. Not that popular in New York City. Japanese place uh, and a Greek restaurant and a chase. Okay. So right here, Route 135 goes to Seaford. I am gonna get back onto Old Country Road, heading east a little bit, and then uh, head up north. So there's Morton Village Plaza. Actually, a lot of people in this plaza today. Uh, let me see if I can find my way out from here. Can't make left turns. Alright, so I'm gonna head out from there and then... And come out. There's a store called Incredible Feats. Oh, there's no left turn here. Alright, so I am gonna make a right and then come out through the back. Is there, uh, what is this? Wow, this is not the back street. Oh, it is the back street. Okay. So there is an additional shopping, uh, well, additional uh, lot. I'm gonna go for the back roads. Make a right. It's a nice, cute little house. So this area is Plainview. It's a very nice area to live at. A lot of people want to live at Plainview uh, because the houses are nicer. The lot size is all bigger. The school district is a little bit better. So right now I'm on Knoll Street, heading east. Hopefully this will take me back to the main roads. The landscaper is doing the job to the right. He has this little machine that goes around it. Alright, let's see where this takes me. So these are one, one story uh, ranch. So 
I have a feeling that this area is doesn't lead me back to the main road. <laughs> Alright, let me make a right on Florence Lane. Hopefully it will get me back to the main road. Let me see where I'm at right now. So I'm at York and Joyce. Let me make a right here. Just trying to get back to a uh, old country road. But I think I'm lost. It's a pretty nice quiet neighborhood. Very close to the shopping center. Okay, so this is Minato Hill Road. This is the road that I'm going to be heading up north to get to uh, the LIE. Another shopping center to the left. On Minato Hill Road. Shopping Plaza, Manito Hill Plaza. This is already the dirt shopping plaza that I passed by in plain view. So most likely there's probably a lot of people that lives in plain view in order for these three shopping plazas to sustain their business. Normally, it's just one, you know, one shopping plaza in an area. to the left, to the eastern park, northern parkway east, the hot park. Uh, that's not where I'm heading to. Let me see. And I will go on northern parkway. Let's see where that takes me. This is a common setup at the entrance and exits of the parkways on Long Island. There's like a little rest area where you can park your car, eat, rest, and then throw out garbage. So it's Lake October. 
paper and you see how the leaves are changing colors. Normally it's a lot earlier but I don't know why it's uh, so much later for this year. It's almost end of October and there's still a lot of greens on the trees. And I bet if you go upstate it will look a lot prettier because I think they, uh, the foliage starts a lot earlier in upstate. Parkway, I'm heading west. Enjoying some nice colors on these trees. No need to drive to upstate for two hours to see them, but if you can see them on Long Island, you just gotta wait a little bit longer. Maybe by next week it will be uh, nice and colorful. Parkway is that they give you estimate travel times. The Meadowbrook Parkway is 4 minutes, 4.95, 6 minutes, Cross Island 12 minutes. So you could you know, sort of approximate how long it takes for you to get there. You know, if you are not relying on, uh, on Google Maps. Uh, 
are only accessible to just cars due to the low bridge uh, that's you know, that's built you know to cross uh, these parkways. So trucks are not allowed to enter parkways in uh, in New York City and also uh, New York State. You can only have truck access on uh, the expressways. But primarily, that's one of the reasons why trucks are not allowed to be on parkway. Is because of the, all these low bridges that's that's right at 10 feet. Because a lot of the trailers are over 10 feet and it's, it, it will scrape the top of the trailers. See how there's another bridge over here. Where trucks, the tractor trailers may not be able to pass through. Now there are plans to, um, to raise all these bridges. Uh, but it's just too costly for the county to, uh, to do. front is 12 feet 7 inches for clearance the one in the back was 10 feet so you know there's really no standard on how tall or how short these bridges are
both parallel to each other, but sometimes depending on traffic, I would choose to get onto LIE more than uh, more than Northern State Parkway. And primarily, one of the biggest difference is that you could go faster on the expressway than the parkway. Parkway is only restricted to 50, 55 miles. Uh, the expressway is a little bit, a little bit higher. you'll notice that all the trucks are back <laughs> because they can only go on expressways so it's like these are two garbage trucks on the left not residential garbage, but probably commercial garbage. behind a tree to catch uh, cars that, that's speeding. 